Howdy to you ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Killstreak Gaming Channel, and this time, we're spreading out all the facts of all the shotguns available in Battlefield 4. Now these bad boys going for the kill are aces in close quarters, and are hell of a fun to use. I personally enjoyed unlocking them all out, and testing them all out. There are 8 shotguns in total, that we'll check out on action soon. The first one you get is a QBS-09. It's a rookie recommended, fast firing, semi-automatic shotgun, but it only has 6 rounds available and the reload time is unfortunately painfully slow, so you have to put each round separately, so you could get in trouble whilst dealing with multiple enemies. It's fun to use with a screen literally shaking apart when you fire the shotgun, but as you progress unlocking, you will get much better semi-automatic shotguns later on. Next in line is 870 MCS, a pump action shotgun, as all other pump action shotguns, it has increased damage in close range. You can shoot your enemies with only one shot, but the damage reduces significantly at longer ranges. It has 8 rounds, reload time is also painful as well, so you have to insert every round manually. I know, it kinda sucks, but hey, it's slow firing, so you have to be very accurate, or you could get in trouble again. Time's a charm, M1014, semi-automatic shotgun similar to QBS-09 but with more damage and bigger magazine. It holds 8 rounds, also it's very fun to use, it's fast firing as usual, and you can easily take down multiple enemies at once. I forgot to mention you don't have to fully reload before firing again with pump action shotguns, so it's important that you have at least one bullet left, which could come in handy. Number Quattro, Clock 12G, a pump action shotgun dealing most of the damage, it's a really nice choice and absolute beast with very fast reload time, but its only drawback are 6 rounds in a magazine, but with those 6 rounds, you can literally take down 6 enemies in close range. Laser Sight is very useful attachment to all the shotguns since it increases your hip fire accuracy and we're probably shooting a lot from the hip. Let's go for the fifth one, Zyga 12K. Very nice looking, my favorite semi-automatic shotgun, it's a really fun to use it, it has 9 rods magazine and a quick reload time, it's easy to use and a lot of fun, you will need to average 2 shots to take down the enemy. Muzzle brake and compositor can also be put on the barrels of the shotguns for the increased accuracy. Sixth one is the famous Fast 12 pump action shotgun. Nice looking, does a little less damage than Hawk 12G, it's fast firing since it's pump action and holds 9 rounds with solid reload time. Full choke attachments will tighten the spread of your shots making you much more accurate in longer ranges, but it will give you a hit fire penalty. Seventh shotgun is UTS-15 pump action shotgun. It looks like a futuristic weapon, and the most amazing thing about this is it has 15 rounds in a magazine, so you can go for a long kill streak before reloading. Eh, <laughs> kill streak. It's not firing fast as fast 12, but it's also very accurate, and its only drawback is the reload time. Again, it takes forever to reload those 15 rounds, so better be careful out there. And the last one is DBV-12, a semi-automatic very similar to Saiga-12, with less hipfire accuracy, it's very fast firing, with a fast reload time. Yes, it's fast. Get it? It holds 11 rounds in a magazine, which is the biggest of all semi-automatic shotguns. We couldn't talk about Deo-12 shotguns since Second Assault DLC isn't released yet. As for ammo types and shotguns, the default one is 12G Buckshot that shots pellets as you progress. You can use 12G Dart with less damage and fires little darts for less stop and power, but for more penetration. 12G Frag Explosive Rounds explode on impact for increased suppressing power. And the last ammo type is 12G Slug. It will increase your range and accuracy with each shot, and it's a great choice out there. To sum it all up, I really enjoy playing with shotguns on team deathmatch modes and domination, and they're not very handy at large conquest maps, and they have a very small range, except for Operation Locker, where all shotguns shine in those tight little tunnels. A quick tip if you want a faster unlocking of all the shotguns or any other weapons, I suggest using that 200% XP boost from the battle pack, and some 64-man deathmatch. I think after about 30 kills average, you will unlock the next weapon and so on. And that's about it for this time, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, make sure you watch it in the highest quality, most likely 1080p, more videos are coming soon, make sure to check out all those gameplay videos out there, and of course subscribe if you like the content, leave your feedback and opinions of Battlefield 4, I will check them up and be happy to answer them. This is Killstreak Gaming, until next time, take care.